And if you look at when, you're, when kids are growing up, especially from my generation and probably before my generation, then you were told, you know, don't show your emotions, don't laugh, don't cry. You were told these things. And you wasn't told it once. You was told it as many times as you wanted to cry or laugh or be loud or run around naked, whatever it was, you were told it every single time and you were told it in no uncertain terms. Now that's a very intense kind of conditioning. This is like the conditioning of animals with electric cattle prods. This is intense. And you can see that people suffer because of it. And this forms a, do you know what calcified means? Like a callus. You know, if someone wraps their knuckles on the wall, I don't know why they would do that, but some people do. They get these big calluses on their knuckles. Right? This causes a callus that makes it hard for you to relate to other people and it makes it hard for you to feel other people. And one of the things, because I do these one-to-ones with people and people come to talk to me, and one of the things that people often bring up as one of their biggest pains and burdens in life is that they don't feel or understand significant others around them. You know, so a child doesn't really know what, if their parent really loves them. A partner doesn't, they, they, they love their partner, they feel their partner loves them occasionally, once a year maybe. And the rest of the year, 364 days, 12 hours and <laughs> so many minutes, they're waiting for another sign. Yeah, that person loves me. It doesn't come out. It's like what's inside doesn't come out.